Hello and welcome to the Adam Farrell YouTube channel. This video is sponsored by freebies.com. Go on to freebies.com. It's a website where you can put your name down for some free products sent out to you. Just go on their website, it's freebies.com. I will put their link below. Check it out, go to the website and the information on how it works and you'll get a better understanding how it works. But I think you basically just go on there, you put your name in the app for some free stuff sent to you right at. Thank you very much at freebies.com for sponsoring this video. This product here, what they sent me, freebies.com sent me to do this video, is this. It's a helicopter. It's a tech review on this channel, a sort of technology product. I'm just lifting the box up because it's a big, heavy box. Here it is here. It's the Sima or the Simba S37 Raptor. Look at that. It's an helicopter. It's a remote control. Look at this. Look at the shine on the picture of the box of the outline of the helicopter we've got there. Um, this is also available on Amazon. And on Amazon, it's about 70 to 80 pounds. I will put the Amazon link below. Once again, thank you, freebies.com. Definitely check them out. It's worth having a little flick through, having a look. You might get some freebies yourself. But let's go to the unboxing close up of the S37. Raptor! So it was an empty box. Let's have a look at that close up. And then what we do, we fly the helicopter around. Like I've got the control here all ready to fly it. I've not had first flight. I might get the boy to do the first flight because I know what happens if I do it. It goes straight into the chandelier. Up there, that chandelier. It's about 900 quid. Nine, nine pounds, sorry, nine hundred, nine pounds. That chandelier costs nine pounds. I will end up smashing it and then have to make a dash to b and to buy a new chandelier that hopefully freebies.com will pay for. <laughs> Let's have a look at this helicopter. So here we go with a quick unboxing of this S37 Raptor free channel remote control helicopter from Sima or Sima. I'm not quite sure how they pronounce the name, but it's Sima or Sima. It's one of them. I'm going to say Sima. I don't know why. I'm just going to. So there's some features of this helicopter. We have hover function, indoor flight, double protection, flashlight, poly, lipo poly battery. I think you get two. And you've got high and low speed. Just right there. That's what I'm reading. There's an outline picture of the helicopter. So right here, it's just giving you the technical data the specifications so we are back we are back and the reason this is off i took this off because i wanted to check it does come with two batteries one's already pre-installed which is going to be sitting there the lead goes around there and that's how you can charge that one if you just want to play with one battery or you get a spare so you can charge this one up here so that clips into there you've got this micro usb thing you're going to put that in there where's that going there then well, that goes in there like that you're going to plug that into a power socket and that's how you're going to charge that so you can have always have one charged charge that up he's ready to go so if you're going out you get two batteries i do like it that the company gives you two batteries one battery there and one goes in the nose the cockpit of the helicopter control pad feels a bit like an xbox or sort of control pad you do need to put four batteries in in the bag you get a spare rotor i believe that's what that's called for the back right there you don't get no spare blades Trimmer, turn left trimmer. This is our high and low speed button. That's our obviously our on and off. That's our up and down. That's our round and round. Helicopter is quite light as well. Let's stop messing around. Let's get some batteries in this and let's give this a flight. Look at the sunset on my face there. It's like it's a Tom Cruise movie. The helicopter's there on the table. Let's grab it. Before we do the first flight with the sunset, look at this. I think I can't show you the sunset, but it's just it's obviously coming down because you can see half the sunset on my face. So we're gonna get these Tom Cruise shots, hopefully, probably not. And um, what you need to do when it's charged up, you just put the little port in there, it connects there, you turn it on there, it will light up. See it lighting up? Can you see there's lights at the front? You see that little light, and there's some lights in there, some blue lights in there. You turn the control pad on, when they've stopped flashing, they will both flash. The lights on this will flash and the lights on this will flash. When it stops flashing, it's pretty much good to go. And you press up and down on the up and down. Let's see if it'll do it. And it will get ready for takeoff. So that's not gonna fly in that mode. It's not gonna fly at all. That's just getting ready and it will turn itself off. 
And if you go up again, it will go up again. So let's put that on the table. Cue Tom Cruise. Let's get the control pad. I'm gonna give the boy, let him fly it, because my coordinations ain't the best. So I'm gonna get the boy and we're gonna, we're gonna see how this flies. I'm excited. You can see it there. It's on first flight. Don't, don't hit the seat. There it goes. Look at that. Forward. Oh. <laughs> There's the helicopter in flight, like Tom Cruise in Top Gun. Can you come forward this way without hitting me? Slowly. Here he is flying. We have flight. Actually, come this way now so we can get that sun setting on it. Here it is. Here it is right there. Up. Ah. Ah. We have a crash landing, so let's see how robust this thing is after the first crash landing. My turn, here we go, here we go. Let's try oh, to no, actually it's film. Not, oh, it's alright. It's filmed. The, the robustness seemed to have been quite good. So up and down. It looks a bit wobbly. It's not wobbly at all, look at that. Way forward. The other two. Ah! Grab it from the bottom. That's it. Push it. Bring it this way so we can see it. <laughs> there it is. So we go. We got. We got full flight. It's not too hard to fly, I don't know if you can hear me, it's not too hard to fly, you just got to get used to the control. <laughs> oh, we had a water, we almost had a crash in the sink. Right, we're going we're gonna to try an outdoor flight. Hold down. Oh, you hold down and it stops it. So we're gonna do, this room's a little bit too small, so we're gonna try an outdoor flight, but it don't seem too hard to control. And it's had a few crashes now, and it seems pretty robust. We do have a few little dents on the propeller, but it seems to be flying all right. Can you take off my hand? We have a crash. Nope, nope, it's coming back. It's coming back, man. Full 360. Right, so here we go. There's the helicopter there. We've had some flights. Let's talk about a few things that I like and I don't like on this helicopter. Let's go over the pros first. Pros, it's well built. We've had a few crashes. I'll come on to the... Um, the other bits in a minute but we've had a few crashes inside the ass because what i was trying to say was this is sold as an indoor drone an indoor helicopter drone a flying machine it's an indoor one that's how it's sold that's how they're selling it on their website and on amazon it's for indoor use only however you need quite a big ass you need quite a big room because the helicopter is quite big it's not them small ones that we've, we've all had and you're crashing them all over the place and it ain't going to do much damage because this is quite big. You don't want to crash this into your telly or into your computer or into the 900 pound chandelier up there. You don't want to do it. You don't want to crash it. So you need quite a big room. That can go as a pro as a con because it's well built. This is all metal. All the supports and structures here are metal. It lands well. And like I said, we've had a few crashes into the wall. I've probably got more damage on my wall. We've had some crashes on there and there's no damage whatsoever on the helicopter. I've had them ones before where you only have to clip something and the wing's snapping and then you're finished. 
but that's just what I'm saying. So that's that's not bad. The build quality of it is good. Is it easy to fly? Kind of, when you get used to it. So ease of use is quite good on this. You just turn it on, you press the control pad up and down, and it'll take off. But it's a helicopter. They're a little bit tricky to fly until you get used to it. But when you get used to it, it ain't too bad. We And we took it outside because we ain't got a room big enough. This room ain't tiny and the room, the front room there isn't tiny, but they're not big enough. And I don't want to like crash it into the telly and stuff. So we did take it outside and it was all right outside. It weren't windy. We kept it quite low. I think you got about 100 meter range on this from the controller to this, there's 100 meter. We kept it quite low. And it did all right, it flew outside okay, but if you was taking it to like a field or somewhere where it might get a bit windy, it's probably not gonna be no good. So it puts you in a bit of two minds with, where'd you fly this? Where'd you fly this? Because you need a big ass or an indoor space to fly, you know, like a school hall. A school hall or like a gym sort of thing would be perfect. But no one's got one of them in their house. Who's got a school hall in their house? No one, no one's got a big hall, so. Yeah, it's hard to say. It's hard to say because, like I said, it does fly well once you get used to it, and it's robust. However, because it is quite strong, you could damage some stuff. But flying it is all right. They they are rating it here. I just was having a look on the Amazon listing. They are rating it as it's got a twelve minute of flight time. Me and the boy, we flew fully charged. We flew this probably. It was well over ten minutes. I got more than ten minute footage of this flying. So the flight time on the battery, what they're saying, it, you are gonna get about 12 minutes, but like I say, you get another battery right there, so you're going out, you're looking at about 20 minutes with both batteries, just the batteries change out quite easy. So if you've got this, you get both batteries charged, it's gonna do about 20 minutes. I do for birthdays and Christmas as old presents. Kids love getting these, I love getting these. Um, but if you've ever had or flown a DJI um, drone where they've got sensors, because this ain't got sensors, if you get one of the ones and you're talking, you've got to spend like five, six hundred pound to get one with sensors and cameras and everything and a proper like DJI one. We've got one in there, uh, in the cupboard in there. When you take that outside, you know you're not going to get anything because it's got all sensors and it's got cameras. But like I said it was five, six hundred quid. And then you buy more batteries on top and they're like 80 pound a battery. The cost of that DJI, one of them batteries off that, um, what drone is that? Is that is the Air or something? The Air, I think it's called, I can't even remember. But the battery alone is the price of this. Um, so why 70, 80 pound? I think it's about 75 pound sort of price. It might seem quite expensive when you put it in the perspective of the price of drones nowadays. 70, 80 pound is the price of a DJI Air battery. Mavic, Mavic Air, that was it, Mavic Air. It's the price of the battery. So the price actually, actually ain't too bad. It's obviously, it's got no cameras. It's got some lights. It's fun for kids to play with and it is robust. Just if you do buy it for one of them, expect they'll have a massive scratch in your telly. Because that will inevitably happen. Thank you very much once again, freebies.com for sponsoring this video. I will put a link to freebies.com below and I'll also put the link to this from Amazon. That's going to be the end of that. If you like this video, remember to subscribe. I'm going to try to do more technology sort of products because I need to cut back on the food. You lot take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next video.